Dear fellow scholars, this is Three Minute Papers with Martin Hawasi. Today, we'll be looking at a paper from myself, Jose Miguel Hernandez Lobato, and Juan Jose Murillo Fuentes, called Inference in Deep Gaussian Processes Using Stochastic Gradient Hamiltonian Monte Carlo. Deep Gaussian processes are multilayer generalizations of Gaussian processes. Unlike in deep neural networks, the output of each layer and the input to the next one is a probability distribution rather than an exact value. This allows deep Gaussian processes to accurately capture the uncertainty in their forward paths. A deep Gaussian process is an excellent choice for tasks that require both the flexibility of deep neural networks and the well-calibrated uncertainty estimates of Gaussian processes. In order to do Bayesian inference, we need to approximate the posterior distribution of the deep Gaussian process. Previous works use variational inference with a Gaussian approximation to the posterior. However, we analyze the posterior and they found that this approximation can be problematic because the posterior is often multimodal. In fact, when we looked at a few real-world datasets, we found that all of them had multimodal posteriors. This suggests that a more flexible approximation, such as MCMC sampling, could improve the performance of deep GPs. In most scenarios, MCMC sampling is more computationally intensive than variational methods. However, Gaussian processes are a special case because most of the computational cost is associated with optimizing the hyperparameters, while sampling from the posterior is relatively cheap. Our MCMC sample of choice is stochastic gradient Hamiltonian Monte Carlo because it can generate samples from the posterior using only stochastic gradient estimates. On figure A, we can see that SGHMC converges significantly faster than the baseline models. For optimizing the hyperparameters, which suggest a further improvement, moving window MCEM, that recycles recent posterior samples, which, which further speeds up convergence, as shown on figure B. Let's look at the performance on a few benchmark datasets ranging from smaller ones with 500 data points to larger ones with 500,000 data points. We can see that apart from the smallest dataset, SGHMC outperformed variational inference. The improvement is more significant for larger datasets, and on quite a few of them, we achieve a new state of the art result. Make sure to check out the paper at the post session. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.